Bill? No, it's okay because we. Uh, I want to be close to our next guest because I'm. Uh, oh yeah, you know what? I'll give you that. You need to get as close yeah. as you can get. Get his energy. Maybe you can learn something from what he's learned. Christian Kane is in a movie right now about a horse uh, known as Mind That Bird that uh, a lot of people looked at and go, well, there's no reason to put any money on this thing. There's no chance it's going to win. And yet it went on as a 50 to 1 shot to uh, take down That's nuts. the sweet, sweet finish and put a couple hundred bucks in my wallet as well. So I feel like, uh, in a way, I'm a part of this story. When you bet, Kevin, yes. do you bet? Small at the races, or do you bet large? Well, the nice thing I know about, it's like more of a numbers game because there's more things to bet on. Yeah, the nice thing about the racetrack is you could throw a couple of bucks, like like two or three bucks, on some long shots, and if they hit, or if you had a nice combination, you you go to cash out, and they do the math, and they start crunching the numbers, and they're like, oh, you just got you know thirty five hundred dollars, which is great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you can get thirty five off of a couple bucks. Oh yeah, you get like thirty five hundred. Hit like a trifecta a couple... or a quinella. Oh, why are you God. not taking me with you? Because Sweet. I have no problem spending a couple of bucks. Uh, I just don't like gambling with you in Vegas where you're playing $200 a hand. No, that's, yes, that's bad. Like, and then I cry a lot. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Christian Kane plays Mark Allen in the movie, which is in theaters officially on March 21. Here is a, uh, oh, we're cool. going to look at some of the trailer for it, and then we will bring uh, him in for the chat about gambling, horses, and so much more. Watch this. He's a two year old thoroughbred. James, mind that bird. I don't think he's what you're after. Let's give him a try. Okay. want this horse he looks fast mr allen your horse qualified for the derby the kentucky derby 20 bucks anyone else think he won't finish in the top 10 i take it oh my god this is so cool please god just don't let him be last and now oh, on the playboy morning show uh, Andrew, that's how i feel every time you hear this noise and the horses go Please bring him to the morning show. Uh, here he is. Take me with you next time. Wow, with cowboy hat too. This is Christian legit. Kane. Did you steal that I from? Love. Uh, did you steal that from props, or is that yours? You stole it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on, we doing? don't have anything that nice in props. <laughs> no, not our prop department. I thought the movie. Maybe you stole that from the set. No, I didn't. I stole a lot of stuff from the set, but not this hat. This did, was mine. What what's, a fabulous movie. What's the policy on that uh, stealing from the set? Do they say uh, don't do it, or you get a few things? Well, I was on leverage for about five years, and so we were thieves, and so they taught us well over there. <laughs> so now for every job you have moving forward. Oh, gonna, I, was t- I took stuff from the first movie. You're going to clean up yeah. like a bandit. Right. Uh, I, I was excited uh, very much to have you on. The movie looks fantastic. Thanks. I cannot it wait really to see it. It really looks great. Um, and even if I didn't have a gambling problem, which I do, or love playing the ponies. No, it's a problem. I have a personal connection to mine, uh, the, the horse, you know. Um, uh, mind the bird because mind that bird because I had uh, money on that I race. I can't believe and that, it was man. exciting. Uh, and it I was... mean, we just uh, we were fortunate enough to be able to do extra yesterday, and the director put money on him too. That's two people in Los Angeles had been on a horse that was fifty to one to win. Well, because... yeah. that shows you just the level of gambling problem, though, because in it's the... that payoff that gives Kevin that huge rush right, in the entertainment business. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. That, that, that's I think that's the more important issue we've discovered here. Uh, right. In addition to the fact it's a great story about this a horse, is actually an intervention. Now, let me ask you. Uh, I was I'm curious about this because the horse now um, is this was a few years ago. I remember I was probably 2009 th- right. actually yep. so the, is the horse glue now or is the horse still living no he's still living as a matter of <laughs> fact we're doing uh, we're getting ready to go out to New Mexico for the premiere we're actually having the premiere uh, May no March 19th in New Mexico and the horse is going to be there we're going to get to go see him he's, he was Mark Allen's the guy I play in the movie uh-huh. who was the real guy the real owner uh-huh. and uh, he's out on his ranch and he still loves peppermints so and donuts so. you've never met the horse in person I have we, oh, met, him, have. we met him once yeah, okay, Skeet, cool. Skeet Ulrich is in the movie with me uh, this is the I've known him for 10 years. We did Into the West for Spielberg and all that stuff. He actually played my uncle in that. He hates it when I say that. Is it true or not true? There's some rumors. You can tell me if any of these are true. Yeah. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker was up for the role of Mind That Bird. (laughs) True or not true? That's just a I don't know. That's uh, a rumor. False. 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 Uh, True or false? Another one. Uh, You were thrown out of the Playboy Mansion. True. That is true. That is what? True. Yeah. How the hell did you get thrown out of the Playboy Mansion? I mean, there's. Uh, That's I mean, hard to do. Because ironically, been... how the movie starts off, it was a fight, and um, you you got into a fight. I was dating someone who was on the cover of, of Playboy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! We got to back this Hold on. up. This is a big story. Good for you. I like how you work into that. Right. You, if I dated someone on the cover of Playboy, I would start every sentence with that. I do. I usually do. You when were... I walk into an audition for the thing, they're like, "You ready?" And I'm like, "I dated someone on the cover of Playboy," no. and then I go into character. That's a smart move. It works. What, uh, who was this person on the cover of Playboy? Uh, she was... <laughs> a, mo- a playmate? A model? It wasn't a playmate. It was Linda Brava. She was a Finnish violinist. Hold on. Hold on. And Let me it was think a long this. time ago. Which, play- which Playboy was this? Oh, my God, dude. You're going to date me. I got a it whole was, stack of them on my desk. Was, um, you definitely own this. I'm sure I did. I was 22. She was like... Tw- um, 
She was on the cover. She, okay. she, but did she, she get was, naked on the inside? She did get naked. Oh. Yes! Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Love did it. you know, were you dating her before she was on Playboy, or, or was she... We met on a TV series that I was doing at the time called Fame LA. She was a guest star, and okay. we just kind of hit it off. And, Smart um, move. Yeah. So you're like a star of the show. She's an extra, and you're like, I'm going to... She wasn't an extra. She actually played violinist. a finished violinist uh, okay. on the show. I mean, she, get that role. she actually has talent. Right. So, so you start dating her, so she says, hey, one of the sweet perks of dating someone on the cover of Playboy is you get to come to the Playboy Mansion. It was. And, uh, and, um, That's and, great. Uh, I believe, uh, and Hef was so nice to me at the time, and I think he was going through the divorce at the time. And no, so he's a true gentleman. We were there. We were there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, we were there for movie night. We were there for dinner. I mean, it was a, long, a big deal. And then it's very intimate. And then I got into a scuffle. And uh, now, I was who did invited. you get into the scuffle with? It was an older gentleman who, no, who a celebrity. Listen, uh, the story is, is it goes like this: she, all the way, she Ray. Saying, I wasn't that fist much down. removed from Oklahoma, so I still had that little fire in me. Right. And she, he would say, do you mind if we take a picture with Linda? I was like, absolutely not. Go, that's what she's here for, you know, all this sure, stuff. And sure. it just became, excuse me, you know, like that. And then one time he was just, I'd had enough, and he walked over with his glass of scotch, and he kind of pounded me in the chest out of the way and grabbed her for a picture with a friend, and, and, and you, shit doesn't fly. And you go right in for I the- took his wrist, and I pushed him, but I held him yes. and, and spilled scotch everywhere, and then oh. a couple of waiters... Were asked to escort me out, and I so told them if they touched me. So you're telling me a mansion regular, because someone that was also there on the weekend. Yep. Wow. So this, was a- so this this girlfriend of yours must have been so hot. Because the the women that come through there regularly are gorgeous, and yeah. people aren't fighting for pictures with people. Yeah. I think it was because she was also, you know, she was in Finland. She was in, in well, she was... She was playing with Pavarotti. I mean, you know, she was, she, big was the get, big, right. she was a big deal. So. And super hot. So I got to yeah. start being I mean, listen, she was violinist. a great girl. It was, so uh, it was over Have you been back since? Or I did. did they ironically. Say, uh, they don't say it's a oh, lifetime ban. the black mark? I didn't think I was ever going back because of that. And then uh, I was lucky enough, half invited me back when Just Mary came out. Uh, with a movie I did with Ashton Kutcher and Brittany sure. Murphy, I was invited to come back for that, and then I went back a couple of and times. And that was your first that. return to the mansion? First return. And like tell seven me years. the truth. Were, well, were you single at the time? I was single at the time. Totally different experience, right? Right, exactly. Oh, yeah. Good for you. God yeah. bless you. That's, I mean, that's where you learned all these rodeo tricks, I bet. Exactly. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the hat comes into play. You do, uh, now, a lot of actors claim they do their own stunts, and then mm. I don't believe it because I say, well, yeah, you do some of the stunts, but then the really dangerous shit you let someone else do. Right. You, in the movie... And even in like leverage and stuff, you do everything yourself. What leverage? We did seventy-seven episodes, and uh, a fan counted them, and they said there were one hundred and two fights. I did every single one. I was fight coordinator, and three broken ribs, two broken fingers. I think like like uh, something like twenty-five stitches to the face. What in the hell is yeah. wrong with you? I have. Steve McQueen's one of my idols, and I just always have done it. And I was on Angel for a while. Mike Massa was David Boreanaz's stunt double. Mike was, I was fortunate enough that Mike let me do my own stunts on Angel and stuff. And that's flying around on cables and stuff like that. So, so you it just kind of really like it rough. You like the excitement. You like that adrenaline, the endorphins. That's exactly what it is. You've never backed down from a fight? I can't say that. You have. So, so a guy, you bumped into a guy before. He said, let's no, go. No, he let's doesn't take... sound like the type that backs down, dude. Well, well, I'm well just... I, I, don't, I don't necessarily. No, I, I mean, I can't say that. I have. I mean, you I've have. been up some guys. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I'm especially, you know. Right. But, but this more... day, Listen, I was a wrestler out of Oklahoma. In this day and age, you don't know what somebody knows. Somebody can be 115 pounds and 5'5", five five and, you know, they could be the best jujitsu. You just don't know anything. I am a jujitsu Extra black belt. I'm a, I'm a Tyler Perry Presents black belt. Anyways. That's not how that works. It's <laughs> as black as your black belt gets. So are you a thrill seeker otherwise, or is it just that like manly stuff? I am. You know, I've been skydiving. I've nice. been a bungee jumped. I'm like, you know, and listen, I mean, this, these horses, they run fast. I didn't get to get up on one of these and horses, but I've done a couple of westerns. Being on the back of a horse going full speed, it's about as dangerous as it gets. What about sex? Can you have, like, normal vanilla sex, or do you need to somehow make it extra death-defying? I can't. I mean, I wish I could stand up here and say that, you know, I like to hang myself from the ceiling fan and, and just strap somebody on, but it's like... <laughs> The thing is, I, I enjoy the romance and the passion of sex. I, got, I mean, I know that doesn't work for the show, but I'm just no, telling you. No, it does I mean, that's, work that's, for the that's show. That's what it is. Passion. Because we like, I like yeah. hot, nasty, passionate sex, yeah. too. I mean, listen, I'm not going to, I, I mean, I'm not going to say that there hasn't been some times where, you know. Sure. Things got Like at the Playboy Mansion bit. and this and that, yeah. You know, oh, good listen, for you. Yeah. In this uh, film, and it is, uh, it's called, it was pointed out the title, 50 to 1, uh, yeah, about a, a real long shot. I believe, was it the longest shot ever to win? Um, it was, I believe, the second. Second he longest came shot back, He came back from from the distance he was at to win. It was the second in all, in all, in all time. That's insane. Hey, listen, I'm, I, I don't want to tell you how the, the movie ends, but you know how it ends. I mean, he right. ends, and that's just how it is, and everybody knows that. Go watch it on YouTube before you see the movie. You're still going to go watch this. Thing. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. It's actually almost impossible. It looks like it was all CGI. Which is why it makes a great movie. Now, let yeah. me ask you, because I don't know how this works, but I would imagine you probably had to learn this in shooting this film. No. 
if uh, if the Lakers or the Miami Heat win a national championship, they go out to a club, they celebrate with champagne, they have women all over the place, threesomes, foursomes, fivesomes. When a horse wins a big race like that, do they let the, the what horse? What are the spoils? Do the, the horses uh, get to have sex? Yeah, they put him out to pasture, and like, he gets about four or five women. Yeah, well, yeah, the, yeah and then he comes in and and uh, and does his thing. Um, it's it's buckets of buckets of champagne. Oh, they were going to say, "Come, are they horse, no, it's horse yeah. Oh my god! Well, I they they, they, him, loads, they, they put but... him in a little uh, in a little like pinned off area, and they put like four horses, four female horses out there, and let him. So there is and it's a about three days. Reward. It takes about three days. That, 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 after, I don't, I'm just kidding. Oh, you're making oh, that up. I'm so gullible. I was like, that is. Wow! I have no All, idea. It I'm, sounds like no a good thing. I mean, that's what happens no, to, but to the reason I asked football that, players and actors. But so. I'm not being funny. Is that as soon as a horse wins a big race like that, their their, their semen goes up in 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 value because oh, yeah. they want everyone wants to stud with a champion. Yeah. Everyone wants to breed with a champion. Problem right? with this horse, he was a gelding. They cut off the the the, the balls were yeah. gone. Is that the rule for running in these? No, and it's no, not even supposed to. No, that's another one of the it's, reasons. It's, that's like, one of the another another exactly. This is impossible. That it's impossible because Kevin, this imagine, horse. Imagine as just uh, the male species, okay? The, the yeah. gender. You cut off my nuts, I wouldn't even get them walk across the room. Listen, you think about a running back anything. in football. Yeah. You cut his it's, nuts off. You really want to run and get right, hit? No. You're just it's like, you know what? I'm just going to walk over base. the sideline. That's amazing. So this horse had no balls. No. And was able to win the race. I was able to win the race. That that I'm is the real like, story. They should have called. Shock. They yeah. should have called this movie yeah. "No Balls, All Balls." <laughs> that would have been a good title. Anyway, uh, fifty to one is the name. <laughs> That's it is, actually really true. It is in theaters March twenty first. And if you're not familiar with Mind That Bird, he didn't have money on that uh, race. Man, was that a sweet feeling? And just even talking about it now, I get the goosebumps when I, I hear when I hear Mind That Bird. I go, oh boy. That's good. Did you, now, did you are you a horse? Do you bet on horses? At all? I do. You know, uh, in Oklahoma, they had a little place out there called Remington Park. Well, basically, it wasn't betting; it was just drinking. Mm. But we put That's some money down betting. and stuff like that. But yeah, they always had the best deals. Uh, uh, Bill, I can't even speak. Beer? The best deals on beer at the racetrack. Oh yeah, because they want you to get hammered. Yeah, yeah. It's, ba- it's Vegas. Instead of it's pumping like a, oxygen, they're pumping alcohol. It's like a buck for a bucket oh, of beer. Sort of Vegas. Yeah. But we're going out. We're going out. Uh, March, like I said, March, uh, uh, March seventeenth. We're doing something that no one's ever done before. Jim What's Wilson that? is the director who did. Dances with Wolves, uh, the Bodyguard, you know, wow. one of those great movies that we loved as kids, and and he um he's gonna take us out rock star style, which I don't, it's never been done before. He's got a bus with me and Skeet's face on it, ten feet high, and we're starting in New Mexico. We're going to Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, Kentucky. That's gonna be and wild. We're gonna, get, we're gonna get to like it's like I, that's gonna be wild. I'm a musician, and when you do a song, you want to bring it to the people. Yep. We're bringing the we're bringing the movie to the people. So instead of giving them something and sitting back in Los Angeles and just praying. To God that they fucking like it. We're going to get to go and see the look on their faces, and I don't think that's ever been done. I'm and excited. you're going to the right places too. Yeah, you know you should out. do. You should threaten people if they don't see the movie. You'll make them geld. That's what I'm going to do. The movie starts off with a bar fight, so I think they'll be pretty. You Good. know, they'll, they'll know what's going to go on if it doesn't. Well, we assumed as a result of you it. working on this movie, Fifty to One, all about uh, one of the greatest stories in, in the history of uh, horse racing. That, that you would you probably a lot about horses. Know a lot about horses, and one thing that we know a lot about on this show is, is sex. And we were thinking, uh, let's battle it out and find out. If you know more about horses or if we know more about sex, uh, we will give you the name, and you just have to tell us if it's the name of an actual racehorse that is, that is run in races and actually competed, or the name of a uh, very filthy movie that you may have seen <laughs> when in your hotel room late at night. And we Holy call shit. this uh, Racehorse or Porno. I love it. All right. All right. Now, that right there is the uh, – that's our scorekeeper. The K stands for Kevin. That's me. Oh. Kevin. The A for Andrea. Okay. I was like, is that the horse name? And the C is for Christian. Perfect. All right. In a moment, a girl's going to come in here. She's going to read us a name, an actual name, and we have to figure this out using our knowledge. All right? These, Sounds these, good. As you know, I'm these racehorses, ready. they have real fucked up names right. a lot of times. Right? right? They're weird names. All right. Here comes Gigi. Yeah. Gigi is going to share with us the first one. We have to figure out, is this a... Oh, wow, Gigi looks nice great. Nice camel toe, Holding by the way. Uh, yeah, that is a nice camel toe. And a nice horse toe, too. You look too. really good with that hat on. All right, uh, go ahead. Like it g- fits you well. Give us the first one now. We'll have to figure this out. Oh, no, it's my mother-in-law. Oh, no, it's my mother-in-law. We'll find out in a moment. Is that a porno or is that a horse? Now, we'll that start, is a really tough We'll start one. with our guest right here. Oh, no, it's my mother-in-law. That's tough. Oh, no, it's my mother-in-law. Porn. You think porn? I think porn. What what kind of porn? Like what happens? I think that he's having sex with his girlfriend and his mother-in-law yeah. walks in. Her mother-in-law walks in. Yeah. I've and seen it be- that one. And it, be- it becomes an entanglement. All right. Andrea? It has to be a porno because even though I thought it was really difficult, 
If someone hates their mother-in-law so much that they would name their horse that, they would not want it to win. Right. It's a porno. The only reason I'm going to say it's a horse is because I've gone to the track enough to know that almost every horse name sounds incredibly dirty. And I even feel guilty putting my bet. That's why they only take the bets by numbers. You say, I'll take the sixth horse in the third race. Because if you start yelling out the names, you're going to offend someone. So I will lock in and go, it is a horse. This horse made race. Oh, it's a horse. Sound more fearful than ever before. Show it right here. We have a, there it is. That's it right there, Andrew. Oh, my God. That's, oh, no, it's my mother-in-law. Look at that thing, huh? Beautiful. Oh, that's Horrible. But what you don't realize is after that How about, horse, oh no, that's a divorce. <laughs> after that horse ran by, the mother-in-law did come in and blow it. We should point that out. So it's <laughs> kind of both. All right, let's go to the next one. Well done. Uh, all right, so that's one point, Kevin. Look at that. I got a horse next to me. Oh. One point, Kevin. Zero points, Andrew. Zero we'll points, get this, Christian. Christian. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Here's the next one. Now, uh, is it a porno or is it a uh, racehorse? Well, that's a stallion right there. Mm. Mm. Go ahead and let us know the name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Code of honor. Code of arm? Honor. Code of honor. Horse. Uh, Andrea says horse. Oh, I see. They're throwing you for a loop now with that one because it's code of honor. How's honor spelled? I guess it really is. Oh, matter. like on her? Yeah. Oh, that, that's a good question. That's a great no, question. It's, it's spelled like honor. Honor. It spells like honor. Yeah. honor. It can also be like a dirty, like, code of honor. Maybe. I'm going to say horse. I'm going horse, too. I, it's got to be a horse. Uh, I, although, yeah, I, I guess I'll go horse as well. Uh, hold on. Don't reveal yet. Let's uh, look at the monitor for the big reveal. Is Code of Honor a horse or a dirty movie? Yeah. Oh, it's a porno. When their former teammate is taken hostage, a super sexy squad of badass beauties reunite for one last mission to infil- infiltrate the criminal cartel and rescue their fallen friend. The action is hot and the sex is even hotter. Wow, that's code of honor. We should start what? We all got that should have gone against it just because we it all got so, it wrong. It right? sounded such like a horse. That looked like a dirty fucking movie, Andrew, didn't it? That looks filthy. All right, here we go. Well, let's go to the next one now. Right now, a score of one for me, zero for Andrea, zero. I don't like losing. Christian Kane. And um, this one, I think, may be our last one. I know. But we'll try to squeeze in one more after this. But go ahead, quickly. Little Hitler. Little Hitler. Horse. That's a horse? Horse. You think someone named their horse Little Hitler? Unless it's like a pet name for a a pussy with a little Hitler mustache. (laughs) Little Hitler. (laughs) Little Hitler. I'm going to go... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go horse. Horse. I, it's got to be a dirty movie. Uh, a blonde woman that will not have sex with juice. That'll be my theory. Um, but I. So Andrew's going horse. Horse, man. And you're going horse, and I will go dirty movie. And uh, please reveal. Uh, please show us little Hitler. I feel like it's a dirty movie. All right. Oh, look yeah, at little. baby. We're wow. tied. Now, now we gotta time. do one more. In that. the 1980s, the Jockey Club approved the horse by the name Little Hitler. But when he entered his first lifetime race, the stewards contacted the Jockey Club, and after some prodding, the horse was scratched and renamed. They renamed the horse. It doesn't seem right. Little I mean, I can't Stalin. Believe, can't believe you got that far. You should see that horse. Uh, you should see that horse goose step. It's impressive. All right, uh, thank you. One. All right, now it's a tie. Now we have an absolute tie. Yes, we got to win it, man. So here we go. Uh, this is the final one. This will determine whether or not what we've learned so Who's far. Who's going to win? So we got to pick a different one than Kevin. Yeah. Why are you with him? Why are you guys on a because team? Because I'm always against you. Oh, okay. Got it. All right, here's the last one. Gay Crusader. Gay Crusader. Horse. Oh, boy. You said horse. horse? Because it's too obvious for a porno. I'm going horse all the way. Someone celebrating. Right, you gotta go. Ho- I gotta go horse. You're I both go going horse. horse on Gay Crusader. Yeah. Yes. He's a happy crusader. I think you guys are thinking too I much think into it's it. Someone that's pro gay rights. Gay yeah. Crusader sounds like a movie I would ac- accidentally click on, thinking it was lesbian, and then be like, "Oops, that's no, not lesbian." Lesbo's lesbo. I uh, I will say that's a dirty uh, dirty porno movie. Uh, gay Crusader, please uh, For the reveal. Win. Is it Gay Crusader a horse or a porno? Here it is. Oh, oh, damn it! Thoroughbred racehorse and see. It's a Sire. horse. Who won a wartime version of the English Triple Crown in 1917. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Well, congratulations to Andrea. Congratulations to Christian Kane. Star of 50 to 1. Uh, that has been a uh, horse or porno. All right. We have just enough time now because it is Ask oh, yeah. Wednesday here my, my to have welcome one woman into confusion.